Good afternoon, people watching Mint 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and the blood that he shed at the cross, and accept him as Savior. Not only are you saved, but you're justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will dwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, speak to you, teach you. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's what he does. This came out this morning. Now, I had did, I put something on my telegram up about this last night. This is major. Trucking giant, yellow. You've seen the trucks on the freeway, yellow roadway, all those. Well, they collapsed yesterday. Ceasing operations immediately and leaving some 30,000. 30,000 workers without jobs this is the biggest closure it says the closure is the biggest in terms of jobs and revenue in u.s trucking history the company which received 700 million dollars in federal uh COVID relief funds in 2020 is preparing to file for bankruptcy and is in talks to sell off all or parts of the business. So this is bad on uh, in every way because the supply chain could be disrupted or interrupted. And so, yeah, this is bad. The nearly 100-year-old firm is known for its competitive pricing and has more than 12,000 trucks shipping freight across the U.S. for brands including, listen, Walmart and Home Depot. Now, this is bad for people who go there. I don't shop at Walmart. Uh, that's just me. Um, but for the majority of the people who do, they could be out. These, some of these, a lot of these stores could be out of stock of a lot of stuff, including probably some food. So as this time, it appears that all of Yellow's subsidiaries may also be gone as well. We're talking um, YRC Freight reflect, reflects the Yellow Transportation that was founded in 1924 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma purchase of the subsequent merger with Roadway founded in 1937 here in Ohio. Uh, YRC Freight is the largest subsidiary of Yellow with corporate headquarters in Kansas. Other Yellow subsidiaries include Roadway, Holland, and New Penn. Um, now, he has an opinion here, and I, I kind of agree with this. Uh, he says, I'm just guessing, but given the sheer size of Yellow, at some of its subsidiaries like Roadway and New Penn, this could trigger, and I agree with this, this could trigger a supply chain disruption that would make uh, the past pandemic look like child's play. So think about this. Yellow is the LTL carrier, which stands for less than truckload. They handle things like pallets of shipments. They have 12,000 trucks. Each day, each truck handles about 10 pickups and 10 deliveries on average. This means tomorrow, tomorrow, 120,000 
deliveries won't come. Another 120,000 pickups won't, uh, won't be made. Stores like Walmart and Home Depot and probably some other stores won't get products. Factories won't get raw materials or parts. And they also won't be able to ship finished products out. So do the math. How long before this becomes an actual catastrophe in the supply chain? Are there other truckers? Yes. Can they step up and take up the slack? No. <laughs> no. I know just a tiny bit about the trucking industry. I had a friend who was uh, a trucker. Truck lines must carefully balance their equipment. So, the equipment that they actually need. There simply isn't enough capacity within the rest of the system to absorb a sudden change like this. Moreover, certain truck lines only service certain geographic areas. So there's are certain areas, you know, that they only that they only service. In some places where maybe yellow was the only carrier, shippers simply may not be able to get a trucker to come out and pick up what they need. No service at all. So I can only imagine what this is going to be like in the next few days. And I suspect, like you just said, it will probably show itself in the next next few days so we'll see what happens here with that now this just came in too about china can't help but to think this is judgment beijing has got 19.6 inches of rain in 24 hours catastrophic flooding and i do mean from the looks of these pictures the flooding is catastrophic. It's actually collapsing bridges. So Beijing, China, has gotten over 19 inches of rain in the past 24 hours, and there is no sign of stopping. Catastrophic flooding is endangering the Three Gorges Dam. So there's a dam there, and it, this is bad. And Beijing is already underwater. China's Three Gorges Dam is a is at severe risk of breaking. The Chinese communists hailed the massive dam as a 1,000-year dam when it was constructed in 2003. I guess they said not even God can break this dam. That's the same thing they said at the Titanic. Well, CCP messaging this week is now calling the calling it a 100-year dam and a 200-year flood. They're telling the people to prepare for collapse. And there's Twitter feeds here too. It's just awful. Everywhere, elsewhere, major road bridges have already collapsed in several areas. And there's videos here to show this. Throughout the region, flooding is so tremendous that vehicles are literally being washed away. So I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Um, and people will say this is normal. People who have no clue what normal is would say this is normal. And again, I will remind you, we are not in normal times anymore. And this is not normal. I will link this in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.